soy isoflavones in nutritional management of cancer patients and cancer survivors. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, soy products have many anti-cancer properties. It's amazing the number of people who are afraid to eat soy foods or take supplements that have soy isoflavones in them. But the scientific evidence around soy isoflavones and their anti-cancer properties is just remarkable. In fact, if you look around the world, people that are, have the, eat the most soy products, you see they have, there's 80% less prostate cancer in those countries, 75% less breast cancer in those countries. But then, because there's so much controversy, researchers recently said, let's put this to the test. So they took women that already had breast cancer who were waiting for treatment, and they said, would you be part of this study? They said, sure. They gave the women uh, in the study, half of them, 200 milligrams a day of soy isoflavones, which is a very high dose. It's much higher than you get from eating soy foods in a day. And they gave the other half of the women who had breast cancer, waiting for treatment, the placebo, the dummy pill. No one knew who was getting what. What they were able to show is that in the women taking the soy isoflavones, it was encouraging cancer cells to commit suicide at a faster rate than the cells were able to divide. They were literally shrinking the tumor while the women were waiting for medical treatment. That's the kind of outcome you want to have, short term and long term. They also did the same thing in men that had prostate cancer where, it, there, where the drugs weren't controlling it properly. Gave them 100 milligrams a day of soy isoflavones. What happened? Much better control slowed the rise of the PSA. In fact, in some cases, the PSA was going down. You say, how is that possible? because soy isoflavones have multimodal effects, not just in preventing cancer, but on cancers that already exist or may be hovering behind the scenes. How, do the, how, do the, how does it work exactly? Soy isoflavones lower the, the hormones in the body that cause cancer cells to grow and to form. So they lower certain types of estrogens and they lower certain types of testosterone like dihydrotestosterone. They also increase the protein that carries hormones called sex hormone binding globulin. When you have more sex hormone binding globulin, less of the estrogen and testosterone can then overstimulate breast and prostate cells and uterine cells and ovarian cells. In cancer cells, isoflavones have been shown to shut down the enzymes that cause the cell to divide. There's a whole bunch of them like DNA topoisomerase and ornithine uh, decarboxylase. There's, there's a whole bunch of these enzymes in the cell that tell the cell to divide, isoflavones have been shown to silence them. Isoflavones have also been shown to inhibit the ability of, of tumors to get new blood vessels, to feed themselves more nutrients. That helps to slow their growth and decrease the likelihood of them spreading through the body. Isoflavones have antioxidant effects. They encourage cells to become more fully mature and that gives them resistance to malignant behavior. It also blocks certain receptors on the estrogen and, and uh, testosterone receptors on the surface of certain reproductive tissue. And they have a very weak estrogen effect. And as they bind the estrogen receptors, they block the ability of the more uh, dangerous estrogens to actually even enter the cell and have their effect. And isoflavones have been shown in certain cancer cell lines to encourage the cancer cell to commit suicide. It's unbelievable. So what I'd suggest you do is click on the link below read my articles on the benefits of soy isoflavones with respect to cancer prevention and as part of the adjunct nutritional management of certain cancers. All the scientific references are there so you see you're getting sound scientific information from me on this topic. Also, if you go to machinohealth.com, you'll see I've created a download that shows you of all the soy foods, it shows you how many milligrams of isoflavones you're getting from uh, different types of soy foods. So go to machinohealth.com and also download that. Now remember that at machinohealth.com. You'll also see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars. You'll see lots of resources and free downloads and videos I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All the review papers that I have and teaching materials have all the scientific references in them. So you'll see you're getting sound, evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.